Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy, and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as the DNA sequencing by Sanger method. Now, why do we need to do the DNA sequencing? The sequence tells the scientists the kind of genetic information present in that particular DNA, and it is really, really important in the formation of a drug or vaccine in pharmaceutical companies. So, let's start the process. Now we are going to take a double-stranded DNA here and we will denature it by using heat. Now we have a single-stranded DNA now and we will make multiple different copies of it by using PCR. PCR is another process so we will not discuss the details of PCR in this video but we will make another video for that. So let's take this multiple copies and attach primer with it. Now we attach primer with it and we'll take four different test tubes and put this solution inside it. Now once we have the polymerase solution, we will add the tag polymerase in it so it's because it is going to attach nucleotide with the template strand. Nucleotides because they are going to copy that template strand. Mix buffer so they can provide an ideal environment for the process of replication. And dideoxyribonucleotides. Wait a sec, I am taking two different types of nucleotides here. So why we are taking two different types of nucleotides and what is the difference between the two? Now in the normal DNA that is present inside the cell, they are made up of nucleotide like this. And it is called as the oxyribonucleotide because they don't have OH present on carbon number two. But if we are attacking the OH present on carbon number 3 and remove this oxygen from it, then it will become dideoxyribonucleotide. Now why we are using this dideoxyribonucleotide in our experiment? The answer is that the normal deoxyribonucleotide have OH on carbon number 3. And it is really important in the formation of polynucleotide and attach another ribonucleotide with it. But if we are adding dideoxyribonucleotide with it, it doesn't have that OH present on carbon number 3. So it will not allow another nucleotide to get attached with it and will not extend the chain. So it is kind of a stop signal for the process of replication. Now we have four different test tubes and each test tube have a different dideoxyribonucleotide. So the red one is DDTTP. The blue one is DDATP, the yellow one is DDGTP, and the green one is DDCTP. Now I'm taking this particular test tube and see what is happening inside this test tube when I added all those things in it. Now this blue strand is representing the DNA template strand we had, and this yellow color is showing us that this was the primer attached itself to this template strand. And this red color nucleotides are basically the nucleotides that was attached by DNA polymerase while the process of replications is started. Now this G, particular G, is the dideoxyribonucleotide we attached here and it is going to stop the process of replication at further different points. Now when we have different lengths of DNA present inside one test tube, we need to separate them up. And how to separate them up? We can separate them up on a gel electrophoresis. Now we will add each test tube to a while and then let the DNA to get separated on the basis of their size. So the smaller the strand will be, faster it will move. In this picture you can see that, that this red strand is the first strand that is appearing here. So the first nucleotide is thymine. The second nucleotide is cytosine. The third nucleotide is guanine and so on and so forth. Now in real environment, all these bands are colorless or will be having a same kind of color if you are going to stain this gel. But if you are going to attach a radio label to this dideoxyribonucleotide, then we don't need four different test tubes. We can use only one test tube and add all these dideoxyribonucleotides in it because they can be separated by using different color that was attached themselves to it. Now we can only use one vial of a gel electrophoresis or we can use the capillary electrophoresis for that. 
in this capillary electrophoresis all the bands are appearing simultaneously and we can visualize them by using laser beam over here again you can see the red color is showing the thymine is the first nucleotide followed by the adenine followed by the cytosine and so on and so forth thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please subscribe my channel thank you bye bye